Welcome back. This is week number eight. Uh, we are working on our raccoon block for Stars of the Forest Quilt Along for a Cause 2020. The raccoon is one of our more complicated animals. Uh, that's why last week we gave you a little bit of a break with a quick easy star. Uh, the raccoon assembles in 10 sections. So it's not uh, got the most sections, but I will say the piecing in the sections is more difficult than what we've been doing. It's still simple and straightforward. However, there is just a lot more of it. Uh, assembly is not terribly complicated. It took me, um, including videoing, probably close to an hour. So this will be your finished product. And I did mine in very simple, traditional raccoon colors, but it, I have seen the raccoon done in lots of fun colors and it looks cute no matter what. All right, let's get started. First thing, I have all of these already pieced and laid out in roughly the order they're gonna go in. And then I'm going to glance back over to my page number two and um, you can see the assembly directions right here. We're gonna sew A to B. You can see right here that there are not any seams that are gonna to need to be specifically set together. So I will just take my straight pins and put it through the corners. Step number two is sew section C to D. C is our eye to the body. You'll see here that C to D does not actually need to meet at that corner. So you don't have to worry about sticking a straight pen through any more than normal. Just stick it in your corner and wherever the middle falls is fine. Step number three, we're gonna sew section E to section F. So that's going to be the piece that is his nose and his eye, the sides of his eyes, and then his actual little nose. You'll notice on your planning or your blank coloring page, that it is going to look best if you get right at the corner of his nose where it's white and where his eye, the whites around his eye um, connect. You're going to want to make sure those line up. So you're going to stick a straight pin through and attempt to line those up as best as possible. That is going to give you the cleanest, crispest line. So as you can see, it's going to pair the edge of the white of his nose right to the edge that kind of borders his eye. Do the same with the other side. And then I usually stick one in the corners as well so that when you go to sew things together, the lines are nice and straight. Step number four is to take section CD and sew it to section EF. So when we go to sew along this line, we have a couple different places that need to be pinned exactly. We're gonna want up at the top of his eye where it kind of runs onto his nose. That needs to be pinned exactly. And then here along the bottom of, it's gonna make his face look like he's got a nice little chin. So you need to, the bottom of C10 to go right to the bottom of the bottom of F5. Step five is to sew AB to CDEF. So we're gonna put the ears on this side of the face. Again, we need to pay attention to right here where the ears connect to the top of the head.
And that's the first half of his face. Now set that to the side. And we're ready for step number six. We need to sew G to H. Same as before. There is not a spot here that needs to meet up. So just pin the corners and um, make sure it, it kind of evens itself out through the middle. Step number seven is to sew I to J. And again, we're gonna want, it doesn't matter here, but you'll want to make sure the corners line up. Step number eight is to sew GI to IJ. And you'll see that on this side of his face, it does not meet exactly. And that is okay. That's what it's supposed to look like. After you sew it together, it will look like this and it looks just fine, even though they didn't meet at an exact point. Because once you put it with the rest of his block, since everything else is slightly off center, it gives him the illusion that he's looking this direction. So the last step is to sew A, B, C, D, E, F to G, H, I, J. You'll see here that we're going to need to make sure the bottom of his chin is hooked up just right, the top of his eye, and the top of his head. So here, here, and here. And there you have it. This is week number eight, our raccoon.